Hey everyone, welcome to another video, and right now it is like 6.40 and we are going to go walk to Not Scary Farm for our last Halloween activity. Um, I'm really excited for it. I've actually never been to Not Scary Farm before. I've actually never been to Knott's Berry Farm before, so this is going to be a brand new experience for me. Uh, I'm going to bring my camera. Hopefully they let me take my camera in. They should because um, they said that you could record outside of the mazes, but I cannot record inside the mazes because it's not media day. Um, but anyways, I still hope you guys enjoy this video, and we're going to go do that now, so see you in a minute. Okay, so we just got out of Waxworks, and I thought it was really, really cool. The amount of detail that they put into these houses, or at least the house that we've seen so far, is really, really good. One of my favorite scenes, though, definitely by far, is there was like this mutilated person, and there was like this, this object that was like hanging from them, like made of other people. I don't know, it was super, super cool. Obviously, I can't record inside the rooms, or else I would have showed you guys, but uh, <laughs> But uh, definitely, if you guys can, look up some some other videos and definitely find out because it's really, really cool. So now we're going to go look for a bag because I forgot to bring a strap for my camera. Oh, 
see you. Come here. So we just got out of Pumpkin Eater. Definitely not as scary as some of the other houses, but definitely one of the more creative ones. All right, so on to the next. Okay, so we just finished Dark Ride. I would say the main part of that attraction was my favorite part towards the end where it has like all the main actors, well not the main actors, but I guess all the main people in that one area. It's like really good lit and I don't know, I just thought it was really, really cool. Uh, so now I think we have two Hans left, we're gonna go find them and do this. So we just finished Shadowlands, our last house, and it was really, really cool. Uh, the, like seeing them jump around was, I think, my favorite part of the whole thing. Definitely not my favorite, but it was really, really cool nonetheless. Uh, so now we're just gonna walk around and see what else we can do. Okay, so it's been a few days now since we got back from Not Scary Farm. I'm not gonna lie when I say that I actually think it was better than Hollywood Horror Nights. And the reason why I say that is because at Not Scary Farm, they don't rely so much on strobes and jump scares to get a reaction out of you. Um, what I noticed at the end of their mazes 
is that they tend to have something really big that does kind of come out at you but I feel like it's not really a jump scare instead it's more of like a final boss at like the the end of a level like you know that you're about to meet something big and it just gives you I don't know like a sense of excitement sense of nervousness you're 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 anxious and I feel like they do a really really good job at that whereas like at horror nights I feel like they rely too much on strobes and jump scares to get a reaction out of you now I think the reason why they do that at Hollywood Horror Nights is because there's so many people going in and out constantly but I think about that too and like at Knott's when we were there there was a lot of people there too kind of going in a row and they had actors everywhere they had people walking through you they had people following you stalking you and uh one of the mazes that we were in i turned around behind me and there was a guy literally still following me from the very beginning of the maze uh just little things like that i thought was really really cool and something that i give massive massive props to not scary farm a hundred percent um definitely definitely gonna go back um, especially next year. I, I think I want to go more towards like the very first day if possible, try to get a media pass if possible so I could take you guys inside the houses with me. Um, but yeah, you know, I had a really, really good time over at Not Scary Farm. Like I said, definitely wanting to go back again. Um, beyond that, I don't really have too much else to say. Um, the other experiences actually that I had out there, um, we actually bought... Um, those uh fright passes or like the fast passes basically it was an additional 80 dollars on top of it but honestly if you're gonna go out and you're gonna spend a decent amount of money on like hollywood horror nights tickets or even a disneyland ticket for the price of a disneyland ticket is the same price as buying a not scary farm ticket and a fast pass line ticket as well uh which you have to buy together in order to do that event um, if you want to do the fast pass anyway, because the fast pass was like 80 bucks and then the the um, Not scary farm was like 45 um, But anyways, I just wanted to clarify that because we went through All of the mazes and then we also went through uh, Three more of the mazes again um, So a total of about 12 12 mazes total um, Overall though once again had a really really good time. I'm kind of rambling now but uh, I can't really say too much positive things about Not Scary Farm. I had a really, really good time, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, but anyways, that's going to be the end of this one. Thank you guys again. Thank you for making Haunt Season awesome. Uh, I'm really sad that it's over, but we're still going to, like, still, we're going to still kind of try to keep this going. Uh, I'm not sure how, but maybe there'll be other creepy things and, you know, other conventions and so on and so forth coming up, and I'll try to bring you guys along with me uh, whenever I go to things like that. So uh, with all that being said, though, guys, thank you guys for watching again, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. So see ya. Bye.